Welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93. What's up, DVB93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our returning subscribers for coming back. And to everyone that's watching the video that are not subscribed to the channel, welcome you guys. This reading will be for our beautiful Aries and it will be for the month of May, okay? So in this video, make sure you guys take what resonates and let what doesn't fly by by. Also, if you're looking to follow me on other social media platforms, all the information will be in the description box down below. So without further ado, let's get into your reading. So, you guys, the energy here is you know what you want and you're opening your horizon to achieving your goals. I feel like going into your reading, it's it's a little bittersweet because you feel like you're at a crossroad with choosing between a new life and your old life. And I feel like for some of you, you are at this point where you really don't want to let your old life go, but you are starting to see things a little differently and how your new life can be prosperous just as your old life was, okay? So I want to go into the colors that are down here. And um, I resonate with these as your chakra colors, okay? So the first one you have here is orange, which is your sacral chakra. And I feel like for most of you, this is turning your, you know, your sexual side into creativity here. Because I do feel like you guys have a fire burning within you. And for some of you, I feel like the best way for you to get that fire out is to indulge in sexual acts. But at this point, like... I feel as though you do not want to really indulge in those things. You want to put your creativity to something more positive here. And it's not that like sexual acts aren't positive. I feel like for some of you, you see that in your life, that is what has hindered you from achieving success or seeing things clearly. So with this sacral chakra, I feel like this is part of you grounding yourself to feel whole again and I feel like for some of you a lot of your blockages stem from having sex it stems from like not really I feel like not really getting involved in connections to where you just want that one thing and you know that's it I feel like now is the time for you to really open up and excuse me <laughs> and explore those emotions that come along with certain things in your life. So for some of you, this sacral chakra, it's a it's like a rebirth of your sexual organs. It's if you felt used and abused when it came to those areas, I feel like now it's a rebirth of, you know, you kind of healing those wounds. And for some of you, it's a point where I feel like instead of being, you know, into sexual acts, put that towards your creativity. And that's why you get that urge to go into and indulge in sex is because, you know, when, when you start to heat up when you're, I don't know how to say this. Oh, um, when you get this moment of, you know, the desire to have, I, I want to call it desire. Okay. Um, it's the divine is trying to tell you turn that desire into your creative give that to your creative side and show yourself that you know you can push forth you can you can grind because that's that energy the energy comes from there to show like your action your creativity to move forward and i feel like if you you may feel like yeah involving yourself in sexual acts will you know really help you but actually it's hindering you here so it's saying, the divine is saying, switch it, switch it up, switch it up, you know? So going into purple, I mean not purple, sorry. We're going to go into pink first, okay? So going into pink, this is your trust. So I feel like for uh, a lot of you, your base chakra is 
sometimes determine on what others have done to you in the past. And that's how you may carry it on throughout your life is, you know, treating others the way people have treat you. And I feel like now you're actually, for someone, I feel like you're studying or you're reading up on like family history because you, you see like the, the silver lining effect of this is, has been passed down generation to generation. So it's kind of like you're looking into how to break these curses, how to break the way you treat others because you can see this through your mother or you can see this through any anybody that's around you like the people that you hang around with they treat other people the same way you treat other people it's it's the same thing as law of attraction you attract the current circumstances that you're in so i feel like for some of you you're getting tired of being in those circumstances so you're like i want to progress my life i want to move forward so going into the blue now, the blue is this communication. This is your throat chakra. And it's also you being a little dreamy, okay? So, I feel like for some of you, you dream of having this beautiful life. But the action that you put towards it, it's not really here. Because we only got one blue. And everything else is more about trust and creativity. So, it's like you you are prosperous, and you want to bring more prosperity into your life. But it's something here about the communication for you, I feel like, is disconnected. Um, either you don't be your authentic self around certain people. And it's because you may feel as though you'll be judged. Or you may feel as though, you know, it doesn't fit the group that you're around, okay? And I feel like for some of you, it's like the divine is saying, look, you have an option here to be yourself. Or continue to do what you're doing because you're not getting fulfillment in the life that you're doing. And that's not for everyone. Um, take as it resonates, okay? But I feel like you have come to this point where it's like you really want to show the world you. And with that being said, I feel like for some of you it's like it's a tug of war right now. It's a tug of war between do you move forward <laughs> in being you or do you allow what you think other people will do, which is judge you, take on your whole life. So we go on to purple. Now, purple is your crown chakra. It's having faith within the divine to guide you. The intuition that you're getting, you know, those synchronicities, is showing you to change your life in a different direction. But I feel like for some of you, you're like, you're second guessing it a little bit. You're second guessing yourself. Because for some of you, I feel, not all, I just feel it for a few people, you're very material-based. So you could be tied up into like agreements here or a contract with someone, and it's material-based. Like you don't want to leave your past life even though you're not happy because, you know, it consists of money or it consists of like this stability that you think you have in a connection, but... It's only because you don't know how the future will pan out if you do make this leap of, if you do take this leap of faith, if you do move forward, okay? So that's not for everyone. And if you feel like that's your partner, like, you know, flip it. But I do feel like it's a point here where you kind of want to slow down and you want to look at what's really going on around you. We're going to get a little more into that as I read the cards. But I, I just feel like it's something else that's going on here that you see and you know, but you are turning a blind eye to it because you're so used to your lifestyle. So we do have here the Knight of Gabriel. And I do apologize, you guys. I'm like having a sinus allergy type of situation going on. So I may sound a little muffled. Okay. So it says, time to take action. Great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. So this again brings me back to your uh, crown chakra. It's like follow what you've been shown. Just follow what's going on in your third eye, okay? And I just feel like for some of you, it's it's what excites you. What it's what's bring the light and fire back into your life. That you need to follow. 
and you know this is what you want I just feel like you're hesitant because of you are used to a certain style of life you're not used to either not having and allowing the divine to build to help you build you're used to just doing it yourself or you know I feel like for some of you you like to be alone um but I feel like you you sometimes sabotage uh, action because it's, it's 3D things that affect you from taking action. So we have here the Eight of Ariel. And the Eight of Ariel says, Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. Beautiful. So for some of you, you could be getting a promotion and you need to either uh, go through a training or it could be where you're going back to school to level up. And that's perfectly fine. I feel like this is something you've been putting off for so long because, I don't know, I just keep getting like pinnacles. I just keep seeing pinnacles, which I don't know why, but if that's what what it is for you. Um, I feel like it's something here about seeking a new uh, career. You've been back and forth planning, should you do this? Should you take this leap of faith? Should you go towards what you really want? And I feel like for some of you, the answer is yes. But for others of you, it's like, make sure everything else, <clears throat> excuse me, in your life is right before you really take this leap of faith into what you want to do like uh, wow okay uh what i just heard was pyramid scheme so pay attention to that pay attention if, if it's a business offer and it don't sound right it don't look right and more than one or two things failed pay attention to that maybe it's time to go back to the drawing board but i just literally heard pyramid scheme so just pay attention to what's going on you have here the seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Work, working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So this is partnering up with people. This is coming around like-minded people, but people who are sent to you by the divine. And I feel like at this point, you are at a crossroad between your old life in your new life and I feel like you're being really drawn to taking a new step a new way of life and for some of you like I don't know I feel the energy of the emperor here so it's kind of that stubborn energy like I know what's best for me I don't I don't need to change everything is good you know but I feel like that's just putting a blind eye to what's really going on in your life so allow others to help you and allow, you know, allow yourself to soar. I feel like you are stopping your potential of being great. And for some of you, I feel like it's just someone that's getting their life together and coming into your life and they see where you are at. So it's a level up here either way it go. You can look at the situation, even if it does sound negative, turn it and flip it to positive and make it work for you. But I feel like when it comes to a situation, someone here is stuck in a old mentality. Or it could be you could, you know, st be stuck in back in the day type ways, but you don't know how to get out because this is the way you were raised. You don't know how to get out that energy. So I feel like for some of you, it could be where, you know, taking action towards what you want will help you break free. Okay. So you do have here the King of Gabriel. And the King of Gabriel says, Keep your eye on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experiences that lead to success. Genuine concern for others. I think that says it all. And that is actually the King of Pentacles, if I'm not mistaken. I believe this is the actual King of Pentacles. And I, I think that's what I've been seeing, like... Because 
I feel like, again, you are so used to doing things on your own or someone else that you're dealing with. But I, I feel like it's you. You're so used to doing things on your own that it's hard for you to open up and allow others in. It's kind of the energy of, ooh, I know it all. I'm a know-it-all. Yes, you do know a lot of things and you do have wisdom, but everything you know doesn't mean that it can't be heightened, right? Um, I do feel like when it comes towards you leveling up, you have to allow other people in. You have to, you know, take these steps because this is a part of your soul contract. This is a part of how the divine is teaching you which way to go here. And you're going to run into someone or bump into someone or it's something here about, a spiritual angel that I feel and that's going to guide you through this and it's just going to take you it's going to take you a minute uh, excuse a minute <laughs> it's going to take you a minute to get used to it to opening up to not feeling like you have to do everything alone to not feeling like everything the whole world is the weight on your shoulders like and I feel like for some of you it's going to be a breath of fresh air but you gonna go down with a fight and you know the divine understands that they know that but they they want you to know that look we're here to guide you we're gonna put people in place and in your way to progress your life okay so you have here perspective there's a better way pause for reflection and insight dare to be different Ooh, it looks like under him is like a circus tent so this brings me back to your authentic self. Who are you? What do you want? How can you achieve that goal? I think the main one to say is who are you? It's not so much what do you want the world to see you as. It's, it's more of who are you? Speak that and say that. And don't be afraid because you could be different in your own way, but trust me, somebody's going to love that. And not only that, I feel like the way you're going about things, you may be being redirected to change your course of action. I feel like that has to do something with your creativity. It's something that you like to do that speaks to others. That's part of your life purpose. Um, you could be a singer. You could be a rapper. You could be a teacher. I feel... I hear music. <laughs> uh, it's something with creative arts that's here. But I, I feel like it's more of teaching people. Not so much as like art or anything of that sort. You could be a public speaker. It's something about people look up to you when you say things. But something here is superficial. Like you could tell somebody something. Or if it's not you, this is someone else. And if it doesn't resonate, don't take it because it's not for everybody. Okay, so... You can tell some people things, but you don't follow your own actions. You don't follow what you're telling others to do. And you, I feel like for someone, you're afraid of being found out. You're afraid of that. But technically, in a way of saying this, you are telling people the right things. It's just you're not following it. Those things that you're telling people is actually something that will help you. So pay attention to what you say out your mouth. Because it's going to help you along your journey. It's going to give you that epiphany, that aha moment. Like, oh yeah, like I should have, oh I should have listened to myself. It's going to make you say like I should listen to myself sometimes. Yeah. So you have here the page of Ariel. And it says an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships. Or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So there's some leveling up in knowledge here. And I feel like for some of you, again, like I said, it feels like school uh, for majority of you. 
Or you could be learning a new trade. Yeah, I just heard trade. So you could be learning a new trade here. And for some of you, like, it it may be different for you because you're not used to it. But it's, it's going to be a lifetime achievement. Okay? So let's see what else want to come out. Because I know that situation is not for everyone. So let's just see what else will come out for you. I feel like now you're more focused on yourself more than anything. Yeah. Temperance. Having patience here. Ooh. The fountain car. So you have, you're have having patience with the unknown. You're having patience with... I feel like it's, it's more of a balance here. You try to balance things out. Balance what you're being guided to balance. I feel like for some of you, you like to multitask. You like to handle a lot at once and the divine is saying, but that's going to deplete your energy. Handle, you know, a set of things at a time. You do have here the Ace of Swords with the Two of Swords. The Seven of Cups. Yeah. The Four of Swords and the Seven of of coins at the bottom of the deck you guys you got strength so you have strength to make it through with the ace of swords being here i feel like this is getting clarity in a situation something is coming up where you will receive clarity or it's it's about you receiving this clarity and, and victory in a situation with the two of swords you're gonna have to make a decision and I feel like that's that crossroad again, whether you're going to move forward or you're going to stay there. Because something here with the Seven of Cups is illusions, but at the same time, that illusion creates possibilities for you. You just have to have patience. You have to look at it from a different perspective. You have to really step back and say, what do I want to go into? Because right now, I feel like you are the Four of Swords. You're at this moment of rest, this moment of peace, of rejuvenation. So you can go into this new beginning. I feel like for some of you, you could be a little anxious. You could be a little nervous. Because you've been waiting the seven of coins. You've been waiting here. You're, it's like it, you're in this gather stage of getting things together. Could be getting yourself together. I feel like for some of you, it's it's been a long time coming here. I feel like you know, like it's you self sabotage certain things in your life because you don't think that everything will pan out to your desires. You have here the past life relationship. You have known each other before, so in a connection that you're trying to draw in, that you try to bring back into yourself, I feel like for some of you. It's more about understanding this connection here, okay? Because I feel as though you could be a hard worker. You could, you could really put love off to the side, okay? And what they're saying, what the divine is saying to you is, you met this person, you know this person, or the person that will be coming to you, you know them for... Your soul know each other from past lives. This could be a person from the past, though. But I feel like, uh, when I say the past, like younger, younger years. But I feel like when it comes to you, you have this strict mentality of how things should work out. And the divine is saying, Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. They're different. They're different just like you're different. But I feel like your partner, they really show their authentic self. And for you, that's been hard because I feel like the people you've been around, like they like things a certain way. So you try to fit into that mold. It's something here about, okay, so your healing family issues, your love life will benefit as you forgive your parents. I feel like you may resent your parents for the way, the way they grew you up. And one thing I want to say about that is 
The no parent is given a handbook. They only can do what they know how and what they've learned from, you know, their parents. And then they try to make the best life with you, okay? So even if you feel as though, like, they didn't do the best they could, they tried their best. And that's all you could thank them for. But if you feel like it was things that were done that you didn't feel that was right, then when you get older or as you have children, you change those things. I feel like a lot of your resentment for relationships come from your family life. The way you treat people come from your family life. And it actually is hindering the way you are in relationships, whether it's platonic or not. You know what I'm saying? I feel like even with the way you talk to people, your boss, even the way you talk to if you have children... It's like, you have to really look at how you were raised here and appreciate those times. But at the same time, know that you are here to change generations. You're here to make things different. You're here to come from a loving heart. And I feel like sometimes you close that off. Yeah, here we go. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. You're trying to hold too tight to a situation. And it could be because, look what came out, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Just because unrequited love came out doesn't mean that love isn't here. It just means that you have to let go of how you see this situation working out. You have to allow the divine to intervene. Because I feel like you may feel as though a soulmate connection is leaving you. But if that is true, then what happens is someone else comes in. But I feel like you're more in the energy of, I messed up. Or someone here is in the energy of, I messed up. But you know that this person could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. You know that. But you're dealing with codependency issues. Codependency issues can involve this control. Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like... Having that control here for you is something that you thrive off of. Like, it's something here about letting go either the way you do things or just letting the situation be as it be. Because once you settle within that moment, once you really take the situation for what it is, that's when things can really change. But I feel like somewhere here you're trying too hard to to hold back <laughs> you know it, it just I feel like it's a door you want to open a door every other time you open a door but then you close it because you feel like you really messed up a situation here it all depends you know it, it depends on you needing to heal because what's for you will always be for you no matter what right Exactly, that's why the strength is here for you to tame that inner beast, to you, for you to tame your ego. Let your ego go because that's the only way this situation can work. It's a lot of cards here of lack. You need to feel whole within yourself before things happen. You need to know that you are lovable. I feel like when it comes to situations... For some of you, the reason why you have let go of control issues is because you could be 24-7 looking at either videos on YouTube or trying to figure out what this person is going to do or about to do. Or it's something here where I feel like it's a spy looking at something. And the divine is saying... It's okay to watch videos. It's okay to do, you know, look at it. But don't be obsessed. I, I feel, yeah, it's definitely a, a energy, attention energy here. Like, overindulging. Seriously. And that's not for everyone. But if you know that 
you're overindulging in things that aren't good for you or your body, then the divine is telling you to step back. Okay? You have here, when I lean on faith of, wait, when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. You got to bring things together within yourself. I feel like and it is owls on a car, so it's like you have the wisdom to do it. You have everything you need. You just have to let go. Let go and feel free. Let it flow free. What is is my true nature. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Ooh, beautiful. When I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. So the universe is saying, have fun. Enjoy yourself. Don't be uptight. I am the loving energy of the universe. The way that you are the loving energy, honey? Yes. So the energy is picking up. It may not be as fast as you hope it will be. But I feel like for some of you at this point, just work on yourself. Work on loving you. Work on healing and healing your family issues as well. It could be inner child wounds that needs to be healed. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If this reason, excuse me, if this reading resonated with you, go ahead and leave a comment. I will be in the comment section with you guys. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give the video a thumbs up. And you guys, don't forget to turn on your bell notifications. I will see you guys in the next readings. Have a great day. Bye.